my best man. and sisters, we are here on this happy occasion to witness the pledge of love for the, between this couple. So let us ask the Lord now for his abundant blessings. Father of mercies, you have given marriage as a great gift to man and woman, to bring them close together and to be one with you. Hear our prayers for this couple. Keep them safe and happy in their married life. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord will seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister in this community. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you in this sacrament as you assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intention. Have you both come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. Since it is your intention to enter into Christian marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and the church. I, Robert, I, Robert, take you, sin, take you sin, yeah. for my lawful life. To have and to hope, from this day forward, from better to worse, from richer to poor, in sickness and health, I'm doing that to this part. I say, take you up for my lawful husband. To have and to hope, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, unto death do us part. You have declared your consent before God and the church, and the Lord in his goodness strengthened your consent and took you both with his blessings. And what God has joined together, let no one put aside. Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Son. Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son. May Almighty God, with his word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. May your family bring your happiness, and may your generous love for them be returned to you. 
May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. And you have true friends to stand by you, both in joy and in sorrow. And you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety or the desire for earthly possessions dominate. May your heart's first desire be always the good things waiting for you in the life of heaven. And may the Lord bless you with many years, happy years together, so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life. And after you have served him loyally in his kingdom on earth, may he welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven. Amen. Amen. So let us stand now and pray as I say your thoughts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you. And may he grant you his peace. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, God. You may not get to yeah. see that. You may not get to see that. You may not get to see that.
because we were there. <laughs> so eventually, we saw his car more and more, but then less and less. <laughs> so we soon found out that he was deeply in love with Cynthia, and as they went on more and more dates and more and more weekly sand strips, <laughs> here they are now. And with that being said, I'd like to make a toast to Poppy and Speaking of institutions, I can't think of anybody who deserves to be institutional. <laughs> <laughs> is that a toast? Uh, yeah, that's 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 a a <laughs> 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 I have a lot of homilies. I have two versions of this. And I don't know, it's kind of early. Maybe I should go with the... No, this is actually... Aaron There's Hunter. nothing dirty about it, but, and don't take offense. <laughs> this is a little poem I wrote for you guys. There was an old sod named Bob who planned to give up his job, to live out his days in the singular phase, to feed pigeons in the park and sit home in the dark. But as it, was happen, as it would happen, his heart started snapping when he met sweet young Cynthia. Her face was quite fair, she laid his heart bare and calls the reversal of the plan. And our sweet young lass, with no wine in her glass, and lost faith in men, thought never again. But when she met Bob, that dashing heart throb, her faith was restored then and there. The two were transformed, the ice flows of warm, and something mystical, magic took place, you can tell by the glow in their face. They just said I do, and now we are through with the wondrous story of two and the beginning of life as husband and wife and our darling young lass with her new horse's legs. <laughs> I got her. 
Nice. 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 Nice.